Hello and welcome back to another video. Now this one is a uh, special one for me because uh, so this is today we're going to be taking a look at alchemy. This was made by the same guy who made essentials. Um, and the reason why this is special to me is because I have to do a disclaimer. This product is uh, was uh, um, I also is this product uh, was. Uh, uh, given to me by the creator himself. I have not paid for this. Uh, I think he said it to, it'll be releasing uh, on the 3rd and it is currently the 20, the 3rd of next month and it is currently the 26th uh, of this month. Uh, and it should be releasing for 660 mine coins, I believe he said. Um, and I also actually helped, helped in the development of this add on. Uh, I was uh, one of the uh, beta testers. <laughs> And I found a pretty big uh, duplication glitch uh, that I'll uh, tell you about later on. Uh, let me just take this power armor suit off, get rid of that block. So, uh, alchemy. Uh, so. Oh, I've not seen this book. Also, I've not seen this book, so this book is new content for me. Uh, alchemy add on this uh, adds uh, essence uh, most items in to most items in the game. Uh, essence is used to tell how much an item is worth. Alchemy adds essence to most items in the game. Oh. Got a bit of a like do. Oh, hold on. How do I go? Okay, you can't go back. That's the first problem. Can I new? Okay, let's just spam right click till we go. There we go. So you got a bit of a duplicate page there, and you should also be able to go back, but you can't. So, to to use this add-on, you need to craft the alchemy station. The crafting recipe can uh, be found in the crafting table. Oh, Minecraft was not happy then. Um... The alchemy station, yeah, so alchemy stations uh, can be used uh, to trade uh, items that have essence. Items that uh, you want to get uh, in the center, items you do not need on the left hand side. Uh, so... Yeah, if you want to turn diorite into diamonds, insert diamond in the center, insert 256 diorite on the left, and one diamond will appear on the right hand side. So here you can see here like 256 of that for one diamond, for that for one for four days for one diorite and three diamonds for three diamonds. Uh, current limitations, uh, enchantments that do not add the essence to your items. Uh, but I have been talking to him, and uh, that is an intended. Uh, oh, let me take that out of my hand. It is an intended uh, feature later on that uh, will be added. Uh, it's just a lot of where Canada. He wanted to basically um, get it. Yeah, uh, uh, because it would just take a while to figure out how much each uh, enchantment that it should be worth and all that. Um, Alchemy Station is a smart block. It turns into an entity when you are close to it and turns into a block when you are far away from it. That is to reduce lag. Uh, very nice. Uh, it does have a cool animation as well. Some items do not have essence uh, due to scripting limitations. Yes, yeah, so you can't give it like potions. There are some, and there are other, there are other limitations. I can't remember if, I think it was slabs and fences. I can't remember exactly what it was, but. Uh, there was like a couple of books where uh, it's basically just uh, where the item ID is, um, you know, there's a thing with it, so it's hard to tell the difference between the two. You can't really tell the difference between two different slabs, uh, and you can't give them separate uh, essence value, so all slabs have the same essence value. <laughs> Add essence to a future roadmap. Add essence to every item in the game, yeah, so that, well, not every item, like I said, there are like I said, there are some items like potions can't be given an essence value because you can't. Uh, well, uh, it's like uh, you can't really give a potion. So give at p p o t i. You give potion. 
Oh, they, they are. Oh, yeah, those are the add-on potions. You can now do potion, lingering potion, and slash potion, but you can't really do like. There's no like potion of healing or instant damage or anything like that in here. Uh, maybe one day when it when Mojang adds uh, them all like separately, then we may be able to do that. Uh, add support for popular add-ons. Yeah, we talked about uh, about add-on support, but again, I uh, wanted to get the uh, vanilla stuff done first. Uh, portable essence storage. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, introduce tools and equipment that u uses essence as a fuel source. Uh, and then that's the support. Yeah. Uh, so, if you're a Minecraft veteran, uh, you uh, may, uh, you probably uh, have some uh, uh, flashbacks like uh, Java's, um, what is it called? Uh, Equivalent Exchange mod, because it was inspired by that uh, mod from back in the day. Uh, but what, what was it called again? Alchemy station, yes. Al. So we have the Al. Not the Al, a crucible. The Alchemy station. Uh, so it has uh, six components to it two pipe, a combiner, two platforms, and a resolver. So let's take a look at the pipes first. To craft the pipe, you need uh, six iron ingots. Uh, I'll just take one of these, turn it into iron ingots, one, two, three. Ah, uh, sorry for the snappy news, it's just, uh, I guess that's full. Yeah, anyway. I'll just keep it on me then. Oh, you need, mm. uh, one, two, three. Oh, right, yeah, the reason why they can't go in there is because, uh, yeah, as you can see here, these now have essence. Uh, essence because they went into my inventory, even like the, yeah, the pipes do have essence. Um, so they won't stack with uh, the, uh, the iron ingots in there, because those iron ingots in there don't have essence. Now, if I take all of the iron ingots in here out, now all of these iron ingots have essence. So now if I shift right click, you can see that they get they work perfectly fine. So if you are adding this to a pre-existing world, that is something you have to uh, be mindful of. So we've got the two pipes. So now let's do the combiner. Com Which is a pipe and four uh, lapis. So I get six more of this, and lapis is there. Then we reach it. Now I'm gonna have to give up. There we go. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put the arrow on so, because I don't. So I can see a bit better. So let's just get another pipe real quick. And then make a combiner, which also has this. All of the uh, new items have that uh, essence value. Next we need two platforms. So that's... Six deep slate tile uh, slabs, two iron and a lapis. So, two iron. And a lapis. And then six deep slate slabs. So if I just get a uh, free couple deep slate. Yep. One, two, three. Uh, 
And then we go... Oh, here we go. Uh, deep Sleep Tile Slabs. And then we hop on down. And next up... Oh, yeah. oh wait, no. I need 12 of them because I need... Because I want to make two. I need to make two. Check that first. Get you it. So, one, two, three. Well, so I need two more and then one more lapis. One, two. Yeah. But if I seem a bit, um, out of sources because I have just uh, woken up and it, um, well, not long ago, and he just uh, was like, hey, uh, here's basically like, hey, here's a review copy, please don't release it before the release of the year. No problem. Uh, ooh, my a bit laggy today. Deep slate tile slabs. Um, oh. Can I get through the door, please? There we go. Alright, so... Get two platforms. And now I just need the resolver. Where is... Resolver. Now this is the most expensive part. One diamond, four iron, two lapis, and two amethyst shards. So, one, two, three, four. What? Creeper? Okay. And oh, I wonder where he came from. Oh. Anyway, four iron, one diamond, Uh, and uh, two uh, of these. Now, Amethyst, yes, if you're, if you're unlucky, they can be a bit difficult to find, but they're not usually super difficult to find. They're not super rare. Um... Uh... Yeah, like I said, they're not super rare, so you hope if you're not unlucky, you should be able to find an app geode there quite easily. And then Alchemy Station. Here we go. Um, oh, so. Uh, let's go up top and uh, I'll shoot this off. So. Uh, I'll put it over here. So when you're near it, it looks like this. Pretty cool. It shows you that that goes up into there, and then that the output comes out this way. And if you, if I run away, you can see it folds back up. If I go, if I give at piece by, you can see it's folded up into the block. Like I said earlier, this is to reduce lag if you have a bunch of these. Because so when it's like this, it's an entity, and if you have a if you put this on a rail and a bunch of people have a bunch of them, then it's going to start causing lag. Uh, so it folds away when the people aren't oh, when people aren't nearby. Yeah, weird. There it is. Yeah. So say you have an enchantment table. Um, but you don't want it to be an enchantment table anymore, you know, say you just crafted it for the achievement or whatever. And you want to turn it back into diamonds. All you'd have to do... Is go over to it. Put the enchantment table... Oh yeah, you need to select an output first. So you put the diamond in the centre. 
does a cool little animation. And you put the enchantment table in there. And it gives you your diamonds. Uh, uh, also, I have a run a deed block on me. Let's put that there. And then you can see there, there's 170. That's how much essence is left over from making those diamonds. So. Uh, let's see. What? Well, what? Well, so, you can just. Like, oh. I don't want to have to craft a bunch of uh, dispensers. So I'll just make one dispenser. But, oh yeah, and it does forget the item that you put in there when it when you go away. So then you put the dispenser there. And then you get one. And then you get some dispensers out of it. Oh, and it does do the entire stack in your hand, so you do have to be aware of that. And if you want to get rid of it, you just punch it. But it'll never... It won't forget how much uh, essence is inside of it unless you break it. Hold on. No, yeah, is it 100%? So yeah, it won't forget how much essence is inside of it unless you break it. Um... So what this essentially means is that uh, you only really need one of each item and, the re and then you could just uh, keep the rest in like high, uh, um, in uh, high essence value items like diamonds or uh, ancient debris or neverite. And it, uh, I have personally gone through uh, and help and go through like, all the items and just like, okay, what could uh, give it give you like an EMC infinite EMC loop? And there is re there isn't really anything in here that can do that anymore. Um, but hold on, I'm just gonna need to stop recording for a quick second as I need to view my news because it's all bung it's all snotty for today for some reason. Also, I forgot to close my blinds because the sun comes through that window. But it's a good thing you're not here to see my face. Um, anyway, but there was a free, uh, he did make a bit of a mistake, so, uh, to make Neverite armor, uh, let me go into game mode 1, so I can, uh, uh, demonstrate this, so, to make Neverite armor, so let's say you wanted to make a Neverite chest plate, what you'd need is a Neverite ingot and a up. Oh wait, it's a smith. Uh, and a smithing a smithing template upgrade and a diam and a diamond chest plate in a. Uh, in, in an upgrade you know, in one of these uh, smithing tables so that and the, that uh, and the uh, Neverite chest plate does uh, uh, reflect that because uh, the diamond chest plate is 8 diamonds which is 8192 the smithing template is 7 what 7,184 plus 7,184 and the Neverite ingots are 16,944 so that's 16,944 plus 16, 9,444 which is 32,320 yep which is that which is equal to that. But uh, he, uh, uh, the add-on creator, did not know this and thought it was eight Neverite ingots, which uh, would be 16,944 times 
which would be 135,552, which, yeah, is way more expensive than uh, how much it would cost to actually craft the armor, which would create a pretty bad uh, essence loop there. Um, but I pointed that out to him, and they got uh, fixed early on, early on in the develop in the bug testing, it was like one of the first things I caught, I think. Um, so yeah, but I do believe like all, uh, all like the vanilla items, there should not be any, um, like any like way to, uh, get a large amount of free essence. Like there's obviously like small ones because of like limitation. Like I said again, I think all the slabs have the same essence value. So you, uh, uh so it's, uh, so you could probably just, you can craft like free cobblestone, uh, into, or well, you could just craft cobblestone slabs and use that to get bonus essence, I believe. Uh, I think I was it. But it, uh, where it was like, eh, there's nothing we can really do about it, and, uh, uh, and uh, the, it's not a massive, uh, you know, duplication one, so it'll be fine. So if we get cobble, cobblestone, cobblestone slab, so for, so that's one to one, yeah, so, yeah, you get to, you turn one essence into two essence essentially, uh, which would do, which it, which is a double, but it's like it's double one, so it's not super big, and it, it would and it would take ages for you to um, get any real uh, s you know amount of essence from doing that. Because I think all slab. Oh, would help if the S wasn't there. All slabs have the same essence value, I believe. I don't know, was it not slabs I was thinking about then? Hmm. They can't really have one. Hmm. All stone slabs don't have one, and prismarine brick slabs don't have one. Dark Prismarine and Prismarine slabs don't have a value, so yeah, I think if, uh, so yeah, there are still some vanilla stuff that needs values added, which does, yeah, redstone, sandstone, yeah, the sandstone slabs are fine, yeah, oh, I didn't give the alchemy book guide an essence value, anyway, uh, what's it, fences then I was thinking about, fence, might have been fences. Eight, eight, eight. But no, no. I could have sworn there was something that couldn't be. Oh, was it walls? Wow. One, one, eight. No. What the? What? One, one, one. I don't know. Maybe he did find a way to give them individual, uh, values or something like that. I could have sworn that, well, at least he didn't think it was possible at some point. Was it stairs? One, one, one. Six? No. Hmm. Uh, oh well, uh, that's something I got fixed, which is good, because it makes it more consistent. Um, now, there is something that the book didn't mention uh, that I'm going to tell you about real quick, and that's um, to do with the tools. Uh, so, items that have durability will lose essence value over time. Now, uh, last time uh, I talked with him about this, he said that it wasn't going to update uh, in the essence value down there. 
but yeah, if I get to uh, hold on, if I get a couple of uh, gold shovels and a gold ingot, let me just get it. Do it. And then you, you can punch it out to get rid of it. So, we've cleared out the essence in here. So there's no uh, bonus essence. So if I go to game mode zero. So we put the gold in the centre. Now we put one gold shovel in it. And it'll give me uh, one gold ingot with two remaining from the sticks. Now, if I... Uh, hold on. En enchant at P... Efficiency five, and I need somewhere to dig this. I can just like dig some this down here. Oh, I was okay. I did that too quick. Give that P gold N. Yeah. Devil. I see it yeah, now. It's down to seven durability. All oh, right, and it does break pick block because it gives the the uh, essence item data uh, makes it to see these as a di as different to the blocks on the ground. Which is a little bit annoying, but there is nothing he can do about that. Maybe Mojang might uh, do something about that later on. Now it's down to like 7 durability. So, gold ingot in. Gold shovel in. Yeah, see, we can't even make one gold ingot from that because it's a, it gives us one hundred and nine uh, essence. Well, it gave us one hundred and seven essence. Um, and like I said, this does not uh, this does not update on the uh, on the actual shovel itself. It, uh, and the reason for that is because if it did update on the shovel. Uh, then it uh, would, uh, uh, if it updated on the items in real time, it would uh, cause a bunch of lag if you like digging a bunch of dirt and it, uh, uh, it, so it would create a bunch of lag, so it does not to update on that. So I, uh, I did like, um, I mentioned it's like, oh, what about if you just have it update every like, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you use like, one quarter durability updates, and if you use half of the durability updates, and if you use three quarters of the durability updates. Uh, but I don't, but obviously he didn't go with that, but yeah, that is something to be aware of, that the durability does, uh, the uh, reduced durability does reduce its, its uh, essence value, uh, which was not mentioned in the book, and that should definitely be added into the book. I don't know why it is not in the book. Um, yeah, but yeah, definitely, uh, they sh he should definitely add that to the book, because it, in my opinion, it is one of the, uh, more, the, one of the bigger things he should add into the book, because, yeah, um, now there is something you should also know when you, uh, when adding this to your, uh, your world, is that, um, once you've added it to the world, then every item uh, that has been given an essence value will always have that essence value, even if you remove the add-on from the world. Uh, and I can uh, uh, demonstrate that now, actually. So if I uh, leave the world, I go back in. And I remove the behavior pack. 
And uh, that the is oh, the resource pack got automatically got disabled. Great. And then we load back in. And you can see everything still has an essence value. Now this will be something you want to uh, consider when adding this uh, to a will, because if you're not uh, intending to keep it added onto the will with that long term, then yeah, it's going to be a bit of a problem when you try to remove it, because you are everything is still going to have an essence value. Um, so I would not... So, I would not recommend adding this to a world where if you plan on removing it later, just uh, it would be better to like just like create a new world and the demo around with it in a new world or create a, a copy of that world with for this uh, add on. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything. But you may be asking, okay, this is cool, but um. Other than like making diamonds, why would I want to use it? Well, there are because uh, it is pretty it is pretty easy to get. To. It's uh, I would uh, call them more of a mid uh, mid game item or mid to early game because uh, it, the most expensive thing in it is a diamond. Um, uh, so. Yeah, and if you're on a realm, you probably got somebody would have probably found an amethyst geo, so you could probably get to the amethyst quite easily, even if you don't find one yourself. Uh, but it is useful in, in its own because, like I said, uh, for storage, all you really need is one of each item with this, and then you can just, uh, uh, you know, have all the, uh, have all have like all the essence stored in like diamonds and stuff. And then when you need something, you just put it in the machine, and it, uh, uh, and it, then you get, uh, and then you get, and then you put those some diamonds in, and you get what you need. But if I go to game mode one and get another alchemy station, oh, and they, I can't forget about that. So, uh, something this is useful for uh, is kind of like the Uncrafter. Uh, if you saw my review for that, so say, uh, say you have, uh, where's, uh, let's get some wood. Say you have a bunch of wood. And you craft it into planks and then uh, it was like, oh, I want, to, I need some doors, and you accidentally shift click, and, you, and you've and you made way too many doors. So, oh, no, I don't want this many doors. Well, all you have to do is put uh, a plank there, the doors in there, and you get all your planks back. I believe that, yeah, this does it in stacks of 32. And it's like, oh, I've got too many plants by planks, but I need uh, some logs for building. Then you put your log there, your planks in there, and you get, and then they get converted back into logs. Or say you. Uh, and this is, and again, this will just like work for like, uh, all right, yeah, these don't have, there we go, and then, boom. So you need, uh, need like more glass for building. You just get the glass block, you put it in there. 
And you just put something of value in there, let's say some glowstone. Glowstone in there, and then yeah, a bunch of glass. Oh, they had, I know there's this, but it kind of glitches with the glass texture. You can kind of see through it. Well, that's a small bug. Yeah, and you got a bunch of glass to build with. Oh, just crafting and stuff. Uh, and I really think this is uh, quite cool. Or, uh, something I've seen happen multiple times. Oh. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's not gonna go with me because it's uh keep forgetting about the about the uh not having essence value. There we go. Uh something I've seen ha I've seen happen multiple times is hold on, get some of these and then some sticks. Something I've seen happen multiple times is uh, people accidentally crafting uh, way too many uh, tools. So I now I've accidentally crafted six iron swords when I only needed one. Well, you put your iron and iron and get in there, and you put your swords in there. So I put six swords in there, so that should give me 12 iron ingots back. And yep, yeah, I have all my iron ingots back. And uh, yeah, when your tool is at full, is at full durability, it will um, give you back the entire um, like EMC value of like the, sti the stick and the materials used for it. Yeah, and it can be you. Uh, it can be used to uh, to decompress some blocks. So uh, if I go to game mode one, if I get never. There's never wart block and never wart. Never wart has an EMC value of thirty two. Nine, two eighty-eight, ah, twenty-four. Oh yeah, I remember. So, uh, with this, we had a we we did have a bit of back and forth with this uh, these two items. So, um, we was like, oh, should we make the never wart block the same value as nine never wart because that's that is how you craft a never wart block with nine never wart. Uh, but. Um, never wart is fairly easy uh, to get in the never if you come across a uh, uh, crimson biome. Uh, I was on the side of making it the same value as nine never wart, and he was kind of like, "I want to make it a bit cheaper because you can. It's not super difficult to get it if you find a crimson biome." I was like, "Yeah, but there's a couple problems with that. Firstly, you need to get lucky enough to find a crimson biome, which may or may not happen." Um, and uh, then you, and then not only that, but you also have to contend with like uh, hoglins and piglins and ghasts, um, you know, attacking you. So it should be worth a bit more than that. Uh, that. So uh, he made it worth a little bit less than a single never wart. So uh, that is uh, something that. Uh, in my, that that is uh, not. So it, yeah, like I said, I, I've said it's not too bad because you can get a bunch of never wart uh, uh, blocks from uh, if you just go to the uh, if you can find a crimson biome. Uh, so yeah. But it's like making use of my opinions, like taking stuff you don't really want, like. Oh, we don't really want rotten flesh. We just dump the rotten flesh in there. And look, now we've got uh, some never wart. Uh, 
Uh, and, and this is, uh, and I, I really like the machine itself, just like all the little animations and stuff with it is really cool. Um, so yeah. Um, oh. Uh, and let's take a look at the war iron compared to the iron. So, this is actually uh, quite uh, unique in uh, compared to like other stuff. So, let me uh, grab a few things real quick. What am I going to do with the nether wars? Ah. Uh. I please give up? Because I have the speed effect, it's a bit hard to tell. Oh, well, I'm just gonna fly up. So, uh, also, let's get some more gold and gold ingots. Right, gold ingot and more gold. And I want to get a coal. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to have to take all of this out, so otherwise I'm going to be able to get back in. I have a lot of coal. So, uh, if you see here, coal has an essence value of 32, and the dirt raw gold is 128. 128 plus... 32 is 160, which is a bit less than that. Three. Ah. Well, that's kind of tricked me up. Um. Oh wait, yeah, no, now I remember. I I forgot. So yeah, it's one. So it's not that. So we take the coal. So what we did is we took the coal essence value and we divide and we divided that by eight because one coal can cook eight items, which is twenty. So one twenty-eight plus twenty is one forty-eight, which is still not that. Oh no, I did one sixty. Sorry, thirty-two divided by eight is four. So one twenty-eight plus four is uh, 132. Uh, yeah, 132. Why is it 136? I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay, this has switched me up really badly. Uh, so I thought maybe that was a, that was a typo or mistake on something. Uh, but I think if we didn't apply that to the so the idea was we take one eighth of a coal, because a coal can smelt eight items, so we take one eighth of the uh, coal essence, add that to the uh, or, or, or essence value to get the ingot value. We didn't do that with the iron ingots because um, I know that for sure, because um, basically iron is used to craft a lot of stuff, so changing the essence value of the iron would have a massive domino effect, um, and it would have delayed the uh, add-on by quite a bit because you'd have to go up there. Okay, what does I need? What is I need to craft? Okay, it's so uh, done that. So it's used to craft all these things. So it, I thought we did do it for like gold, and oh, let me see. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna shift right click the. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my nose is naughty today, and I do not know why. Also, why is he. Okay. Uh, so yeah. That's kind of threw me off a bit. Uh, oh, also do cage Yeah. Uh, not. Uh, I did. I don't think we managed to give heads of value because, as you can see here, 
that it shows a skeleton skill, but these are actually wither skulls. So yeah, the that does not have a value because you can't tell the difference between two different types of skulls. So, uh, as you can see here, the combatant jaws just thinks it's a uh, the, well, the jaws just think it's a uh, skeleton just displays as a skeleton skull because they can't see it as a wither skull, even though it remembers that it is a wither skull. Um. Anything else I can remember that's interesting about this? Uh, oh yeah, and then you can like also craft stairs back into the com composite materials. You can. Uh, I remember we had to nerf, uh, nerf the value of a neverite uh, uh, because uh, we u we use. We got a bunch of diamonds and we used it to make a bunch of TNT with the alchemy station. And uh, uh, we used that TNT to do some TNT mining for uh, ancient debris. Then we used that ancient debris to make a neverwriting god and then used uh, the rest of the ancient debris to make more neverwriting gods through the alchemy station. And uh, we ended up getting more, uh, a lot more ne uh, value from the blast mining with net with the TNT than you know we used to, to get the TNT so the never right got nerfed uh because of that the value of the never right got nerfed because of that um is there anything uh oh yeah uh something else I want to mention is it's uh is how it does interact with some other add-ons so uh when we were making the well making the as you know assigning the essence values we 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 had vanilla vanilla Minecraft mainly focused. So the idea was uh, uh, when assigning the values is that you were just using this add-on in a world with no other add-ons. You know, basically in a bubble. Um, but there are some, but it does interact with like some add-ons do do affect it. Um, like uh, uh, with the ore. Um. Tinker's Construct, the smeltery there, that gives you double the amount of uh, ingots from the raw ore. Um, which uh, basically means that one raw ore is worth two iron ingots uh, in the, if you have Tinker's Construct, which basically means you can have one raw iron and one iron and then a uh, convert the rest of your raw iron into two iron ingots uh, with the uh, with the smeltery into its construct and then use those two iron ingots to get more raw ore and basically so 72 so 72 times 2 minus uh, it was 64 year 64 equals so you'll get you're making a profit of 80 essence per you know iron ingot there um now something i did uh i think i did mention is like maybe adding like an item that allows you to s where are these creepers coming from um Something I did uh, mention to him, like maybe adding, it was a uh, item that allows you to set the an item's essence value. So, like, uh, if you're an admin of a realm and you have this on the realm with other add-ons, and it's like, oh, this add-on uh, decreases the value or increases the value of X item. Uh, so I. So I can just uh, um, use this book to uh, uh, change the value of the item uh, uh, manually to, you know, basically make it, you know, to adjust for the changes that other add-ons uh, might do or like, um, and also this would be good to, even if you're not using other add-ons because Mojang do have a tendency to uh, change uh, how easy or difficult it is to get certain items. So, yeah, having that would also be good. Uh, uh, 
you know, for when it like when there's an update and the uh, then uh, uh, realm admins can add uh, s a value to new items as they see fit or change it, uh, essence value of older items depending on like uh, uh, you know how difficult the items are to get. Did he? I don't think. That reminds me, I don't think the trial, the trial chambers weren't out when we were doing uh, stuff for this. I don't think I've seen the essence value for like the uh, mace, I don't think, did he? Oh wait, no, it was, you know, it was out, yeah. So yeah, you do have an essence value for the mace. I also think there was an essence value for the keys. So yeah, there is an essence value uh, for the keys. Um, so yeah, you can't, uh, which I don't think is uh, OP because uh, even if you have a bunch of keys, you still need to go to a new trial chamber to get the to get more loot. So the keys aren't the most difficult part to get because you can just get a bunch of them from sitting up a farm. It just means you don't have to set up a farm to get a bunch of trial chamber keys. Yeah, and it also means if you have an overflow of certain items, like, oh, I have too much cooked chicken or too many iron blocks. I want to turn these into, like, dimes. Oh. So you put your dime in there, you put the iron blocks in, you put the chicken in. And then you get uh, your day, and then you get some diamonds out of it, and there's still a bit of EMC left there. Uh, no, EMC, sorry. Uh, essence left there. Uh, so you could just, oh, uh, I need more redstone. Let's get some reds. Let's put a redstone in there. There we go, I've got a bunch more redstone. Alright. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um Yeah. And uh, and again this only mean this does also mean you only have to craft one of each item. So you don't have to, so you don't have to worry about gathering up all the materials for you, you just like oh I have a uh, auto crafter. Just grab a handful of diamonds. Sh stuff the auto crafter in there. Shove the diamonds in that end, and then you get a bunch of auto crafters on the other end. Um. Uh. So yeah. The, so the next update, uh, I think, will probably be just like uh, adding like the rest of the vanilla items, uh, giving them uh, essence. Uh, values. Um, you know, like the intended books. You know, the ones that can have an essence value but currently do not. And maybe like uh, readjusting uh, other uh, other essence values uh, based on community feedback. If like a bunch of people think just like, oh, this thing's too expensive, uh, then uh, you know might readjust uh, some essence values. Oh, and again, maybe adding that uh, item that I uh, mentioned earlier allows the players to uh, manually set the essence values. Uh, but obviously, I'd have to be something only uh, people in creative could get or something. Um, uh, but I think probably uh, the f one of the first add ons to be uh, given support would probably be like, something like the compacting compact blocks add-on because that would be a really easy one to add compatibility with you just take the item that uh, the value of the item that it's compact closed off and multiply by nine and then it, then you have the I uh, that's well t I don't know it depends on what he wants to do maybe he doesn't want to add support for that first maybe he wants to work on another add-on that's more popular or something I don't know but yeah it's really cool and it, uh, uh, and, uh, 
Like I said, it was inspired by Equivalent Exchange, so... Um... That, that was quite popular, so this will be popular. Um, and if you like... Uh, but yeah, again, if you do have other add-ons that uh, give you more... Uh, output than what you can have in vanilla, then you put... You know, like, uh, I remember back in the day with Equivalent Exchange, it used to be... A machine that gave you three blaze powder instead of two blaze powder per rod, and then you can get infinite uh, EMC from that back in the day with some pipes and stuff. But you can't uh, really do that with this because while well, I've gone through like all the items, and there's not, and the, the, there's not really anything that can really give you a large amount of EMC for free, uh, essence for free. Um, and, the, uh, and you can't automate this, like you can't hop her in, you can't hop her out. Well, you can have hoppers set up to like automatically collect them, but you can't hop her items into it. You have to manually right click. Um, but yeah. Uh, like, well, like I said, Tinker's Construct can, you know, give you, can cause some problems. So like, like I said, uh, that's what, that's the reason why I think we need an item to change the values ourselves. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the add-on. I, re I, re I really like it. It, it. In my opinion, it is really cool. Uh, but let me know what you think uh, down in the uh, comment section uh, below. There's a uh, Discord to join, uh, link in the description below. If you want to join that, you can come and talk to me. Um, and uh, to ask questions. I also let people know when I go live uh, on the Discord. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Oh, <laughs> uh, also, if you run back and forth quite a bit, can uh, mess with that. But I think I just need to run away again and then come back. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. And that sorted it out. Yeah, we go. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye-bye.